Hey folks, this is the Turbo Light Twin 310 from Black Wolf. I'm gonna show you how I set it up and I'm gonna show you how to pack it away too. Let's get started. Hit it. Hey guys, Ben from Snowy's here today in the Brown Hill Creek Caravan Park in Adelaide's eastern suburbs. It's a nice quaint little spot for you to park your van or set up your tent if you're just passing through Adelaide, so check it out. We've got some space down here today to set up some products for you, and I've got the Black Wolf Turbo Light Twin 300 tent in front of me here. Now this is a three room tent, you've got a central living area and two sleeping areas on each side. It's quite a big tent, weighs about 34 kilos, and when it's packed up like this, it's about 145 centimetres in length by about 35 centimetres wide and 34 high. What I'm gonna to do today for you is show you how to set it up and pack it away. First, I'll show you what comes in the bag. So inside the bag for your Turbo Twin 300, um, you get the main portion of the tent, which is the inner and the frame all together. This is the fly sheet. You get a bag of pegs and guy ropes, everything you need, and quite a few poles. Now, you'll get three awning poles for the front awning, two shorter ones and a longer one, which has got the two black ferrules. You get a couple of extra awning piles because you can actually set the rear door up as an awning as well. This guy here goes together as a ridge pole and then these curved ones and these that kind of clip together like this are the poles that are going to form the rooms, bedrooms on each end. First thing I need to do though is spread the inner out and peg the corners in place. Now there's various straps incorporated into this to help manage all the poles and fabric and things uh, on the inner tent here. Now, it will have a strap around the middle of the tent that is a separate strap, so make sure you keep that somewhere safe that you're not gonna lose it. That will let this fabric fall out around the edge here. Uh, we just wanna orient the tent. So these dark green bits are going to be the ends of the tent, so I'm gonna set mine up along this way. So I've just oriented each room to the side there. Now there's a strap that runs around the poles here that we need to undo, which lets all of these fall to the side. And on top of that, each of these little loops goes over the knuckle here. That just helps to hold it all into place. It makes it much easier to manage. So we undo all of those and let the frame fall out to the sides. Now I've pegged the four corners of the central portion of the tent in place, just while I'm on the pegs. They're nice durable pegs that come with your Turbo 300 tent. So for most ground, you're not gonna need an upgrade. If using it on sand though, it might be beneficial to grab a few sand pegs. Now, when you're pegging these four corners, don't pull these too tight. Just give a little bit of play in the frame. It allows it to settle into place as you pop the frame up. Now that I've got all those four in place, we need to peg these end bedrooms out. Now, these are actually clipped up the top here with a clip to keep the fabric in place. I need to unclip these, stretch this out, and put two more pegs in each end. So I've got eight pegs in place now, four in a central area, two in each end. There are two extra peg points at each end in the center here as well that we should probably put in place just to stop the fabric from flapping around too much. Okay, I've got all the pegs in place, so we just need to pop the frame up into place now. Now there's two steps to that. First, we need to go to each of these legs and invert this knuckle back the other way until this button on top pops into place. We do that on all four legs. Now to pop the whole tent up into place, we need to step inside the door here and get a hand up underneath the central hub and lift it up into place. Now that's the main portion of the tent set up. Now we need to put a couple of poles on each end of the tent to make the bedrooms take some shape. So to do that, we need four, four pole sections. Firstly these, it's got a spring in the middle. We need two straight sections like this for each end. And then we need two curved sections as well. We just need to find the right ones so, um, so that they've got ends that join together. And these corners, if you say, if you please, um, actually go on the end of this curve. So they don't go together like this. They go together like this. So there's a nice curve in the middle with these corners on each end. And we feed this through the sleeve that sits on the top of each bedroom at the end of the ends of the tent. Now I'm not sure what's easy, whether it's better to put each um, half of the pole in from the middle and try and join it in the middle, because it's quite a way to reach to the centre here, or to try and feed the whole, th whole thing through at once. Whichever way, the pole needs to join in the middle. There is a gap there. We now need to put the uprights in each end. Now these poles just sit up against the central frame here. They don't actually peg into place or go into any joints. They just butt up against the, the, the strap and the frame there. So that pole's now in place and we do the same thing at the other end. So that's all the poles and frame in place. That's the inner tent set up. Now we need to throw the fly over the top. Now this would certainly be easier with a second set of hands because it is a big tent and there's a lot of fabric to get over the top of the tent here. What we need to do is orient the fly. So we need to find the awning that will stick out the front of the tent. And you can identify that because it's got zips and Velcro around the edges for all the accessories to fit on. 
So I need to find that, make sure that sticks out this way, and then as best I can, drag the fly over the top of the tent. Now the fly is just laying in place at the moment. Now there's a combination of pegs, Velcro, and clips that we need to use to secure the fly. Now in the central frame of the tent, if we fold the fly up, where the leg sits, there'll be Velcro tabs to go around these uprights. That's only on these poles, not the end poles or the bedroom poles. So there's two of those on each of, each of those poles. And then at the bottom of this is a side release buckle or a side release clip down the bottom here that we need to put into place. It clips into the, the very base of the frame down here. We do that on four corners. So now I just grab a handful of pegs and I can finish putting the fly in place. Now there are guy ropes, uh, two on each of these legs on the central, fr central frame of the tent. They're incorporated into their own little pockets here. I'm not going to put them up today, but I would recommend using them particularly for long stays or if the weather's really bad, gives the tent extra stability. So two on each leg and there's also one in the middle at each end. Now I'll go around and find all of these loops around the base of the fly and put a peg in each of those to keep it all in place. Now the rear of the Turbo Twin 300 tent here, there's actually a second little vestibule here. This allows for a bit of weatherproof storage. There's also a second entrance to your Turbo uh, Twin tent. And with the extra two awning poles that you got with your kit, you can actually unzip this doorway and using the brass eyelets that feature in the corners here, set this up as a sheltered entrance as well. It's got nice big gusses in here to give it a bit of protection. And there's another door in there to access the central portion of the tent. I'm gonna leave it zipped up for now. That way it's a bit of weather protected storage for me. And the last bit of setup is the three pole awning at the front of the tent here. Now to do that, we grab our three awning poles. The two shorter ones have got a single black ferrule on it, like these two. And the central one, which is longer, has got two black ferrules on it. So we'll just pop them in place ready. And we need to get the center ridge pole ready too. And that's made up of two portions. This uh, ridged portion here is extendable with a little collar on there to tighten it up. And then this portion here clips into the end of that. We've got a hole there that lines up with the button here and they go together. Now we need to locate this ridge pole in the actual frame, central frame of the tent. So this little hook on the end here actually gets located up in a little hole that you can't quite see. You need to feel around, you're gonna hook into the, plastic, the black plastic hub at the top under, up underneath the fly. So once we've got that ridge pole in place, we now need to grab our center upright pole, extend it right out. It goes through the hole in the end of the ridge pole here and then through the brass eyelet in the top of the awning here. We won't worry about tightening everything too much at this stage. We'll get the guy ropes in place and the other poles and then we can tighten this ridge pole so it all sits nice and taut. That is our Turbo Twin 300 tent, almost all set up. I haven't done the guy ropes as I mentioned before, I won't worry about that today, but there's one other thing we could do and that's with regard to these windows here. Now these can be set up in one of three ways. Either zipped completely closed, as you see it here, you can unzip the sides here and roll it right up so that it allows ventilation through the tent. There's tabs at the top here so you can secure this fabric at the top. Alternatively, there's a second zip that features underneath here that encloses this gusset here and allows you to peg these windows out as a weather protected awning. So you grab the extra guy that came with your kit, put it through the brass eyelets here Peg it out like this, it allows ventilation up through the tent while keeping the rain out. But that is a Turbo 300 Twin Tent all set up. Pack away, it's just as easy. We start with the awning. So I've got the awning collapsed down here now and the, the guy ropes tucked away in their pockets. So now I'll just go around and pull all the pegs around the out around the base of the tent, unclip it from the frame at the bottom and don't forget about the Velcro tabs around the frame in underneath here as well. And as you go around, just uh, let the, the windows, if you've got them rolled up, let them roll down so they just uh, sit flat. It's gonna make it easier to fold it up. So I've got the fly completely detached from the tent. It's just sitting on top. So I've got to drag this off now and fold it up. This would certainly be a whole lot easier with two people, but we'll see how I go. So I've got the fly up and folded up. Next step is to take the poles out of the end bedrooms here. So we just uh, move that from against the frame there, pop these end ones out and feed the pole out. And then we can take the pegs out from the end. Now there's an extra step here that's gonna make folding the tents up so much easier. There are still clips that feature on these corners of the tents. Now they actually marry up to a clip at the top of the tent here. 
If we clip this up here, we do that on both sides, that keeps the fabric up and out the way as we fold it up and makes getting it back in the bag so much easier. So I'll do that at the other end as well, and then we can collapse the inner frame down. Now I'm just going to undo the doors that I've got rolled up here. If we leave them rolled up, it uh, kind of makes it harder to, to roll the tent up tightly afterwards. There's like a big fat sausage of fabric in there. So if they just hang loose, they tend to fold up much easier. Now to close this inner portion of the tent down, we need to step inside, grab that handle in the middle, or grab a handle in the middle, and pull this center portion down and the whole frame will then collapse in. So now that we've got the center portion of the tent collapsed down, we go around to each of these knuckles on each leg and we depress the button on the top there and that allows these legs to fold in on themselves. From here, we go around and take all the pegs out. Now, one thing I'll note with the pegs as you go around, the, the loop that uh, the D-rings attach to that the pegs go through has a double action. It also serves to hold this section of the pole up against the knuckle here as we fold it up so we haven't got poles flailing all over the, all over the place while we try and roll the tent up. So I've got all the pegs out, all the, the lower arms are attached to the knuckle. From here, we bring these four sections together in the middle, and we need to find a strap that's attached to the tent, so this requires tricky hands. Hold these in the middle. Now, somewhere around here, there will be a strap. Here it is on this side here. This goes around the poles and keeps them all in place as we try and roll it all up. So from this point, I'd recommend you spend a little bit of time just sort of trying to get the fabric to, to sit as neatly as possible. There's a lot of fabric in this tent, and the more time you spend sort of flattening it out, the easier it is to, going to, be, to get back in the bag. So pull it out as much as you can, and then lie it down on its side on a flat section. So I've grabbed my second strap that I need to secure this once I've got it rolled, and I've kind of got this flattened out as much as I can. It's easier said than done. There's a lot of fabric bunched up in here, so I just need to fold this across and roll it up as tight as I can. If we get it done tightly now, it's going to go back in the bag so much easier. So I've got all my, my poles packed away. I've got the pegs here. Pretty sure you do actually get, this is a, a demo tent, but I'm pretty sure you do get two bags for your poles, so you've got somewhere to put these curved ones as well. Put the poles in the bag first, followed by the main portion of the tent, then the fly on top. That is how you set up and pack away the Black Wolf Turbo Light Twin 300 tent. Now, a little bit of a wrestle to get back in the bag. It is a big tent, there's a lot of fabric. If you fold it up really neatly, it goes back in easier. Despite it being a big tent, it is really livable with three rooms, two of those being bedrooms, two entrances, and two awnings. So it's a great family camping tent. You can grab them online at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions about the tent, let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel and you'll get more information and more great videos like that. Or if you want to check out some other turbo videos, try these ones down here.